Let's bring in Senator John Kennedy. He's following all of it. Senator Appropriations Committee, Banking, Housing, Urban Affairs. Uh, Senator, your sense right now of what should happen next, because we know the administration made it clear they don't want anything to happen and they're not going to be a part of it. Well, um, of course Israel is going to respond. Uh, that's how they've survived all these years. I mean, the, the message to their enemies has always been and has to be, if you hurt us, we will open you up like a soft peanut. Uh, that's deterrence 101. Uh, I think the response will be smart. I think it'll be strategic. I don't think Israel's going to take its eye off of the, uh, the prize here. Israel's got to destroy Hamas. And it's clear they're not going to get much help from, from President Biden. We've got to do to a Hamas what we did to Al Qaeda and ISIS. I, I guess the third point I'd make, Brian, is that, uh, look, it, it, I, I'm sure it's apparent to the people of Israel that, that the people in the Biden administration, they, these folks are not wartime consigliaries. Um, <laughs> that, that, they're a lot more comfortable um, going on NPR and debating whether a man can breastfeed than, than they are about uh, uh, or with standing up to our enemies and Israel enemies. It is what it is, but we've seen that in the war in the Middle East and we've seen that in Ukraine. Right, they gotta hit back and it's gotta be in places not to create casualties, but to wreck out the drone factory, yeah, yeah. nuclear I program, mean, IRGC. That's what yeah, they're gonna they, go for. They, these guys are really good, but Biden's people are really good at vetoing uh, UN resolutions and haggling over language at a at a NATO summit. But when the shooting starts, you couldn't find them with you couldn't find them with Google and or a search party. They're just not dependable. They're not wartime consigliaries. Let's talk about the Senate today. And uh, you'll have an, there's a, as you know the impeachment articles to get rid of Mayorkas uh, was marched down to your chamber. When are you going to find out if Senator Schumer is going to have a trial? What's the holdup? Isn't doesn't he have to have a trial? No. Well, under Senate precedent, he does. Look, this is what's going on. It's pretty simple. Uh, Schumer's trying to muddy up the water to make it look deep, but it's pretty simple. The United States House of Representatives, after months of investigation, has brought very serious charges against Secretary Mayorkas. You ought, you ought to read the charges. Now, this is the United States House of Representatives that has done this. We're, we're not talking about... Uh, uh, some game boy who's living in his parents' basement and has an opinion. This is the United States House of Representatives. It's only happened in 22 times in our 250-year history. Every time the Senate has done its job and, and held a trial, except when the public official impeached, quit. Now, Senator Schumer says, oh, uh, this is just a policy disagreement. There are no high crimes and misdemeanors. How does he know? He hasn't seen the evidence. Let me tell you what's really going on. Schumer says this is about principle. To quote one of my, my favorite columnists, if you think this is about principle, uh, how did he put it? You also think Elvis is alive and running a small bait stand on Lake Erie. This is not about principle. This is about raw gut politics. Uh, the, the loon wing of the Democratic Party led by President Biden, does not want the United States Senate over a two-day period to, be, to present evidence of how the Biden administration has screwed up royally the southern board right before an election. That's what this is all about. It's not so much he's going to get impeached, but even the testimony, once it comes out, in long form, is going to be so devastating, Schumer doesn't want to do it. It you will be devastating. Right. It will gut right. them like a fish. Gotcha. And they're not going to let that happen, no matter how many rules they have to break. Senator, uh, we'll be watching today. Let's just hope the Senate doesn't uh, uh, erase another speaker. Excuse me, the House doesn't erase another speaker. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Senator Kennedy, thanks well, so much. But, but let, me, let me say a word for my Mike Johnson. I don't know if I can say this on TV. I've known Mike a long time. The man pisses excellence. He's doing the best he can under tough circumstances. I, it's unbelievable that his colleagues don't realize that. Uh, Senator, thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, that was a very interesting turn of phrase. Uh, this